good day, learners! Did you know that sometimes we don't need the exact number, especially when estimating or making quick decisions? Today, we will learn how to round numbers to the nearest hundreds so we can estimate numbers more easily and quickly in real-life situations. Liam trip to the market Liam went to the market to buy vegetables for his mother. He looked at the prices and saw potatoes 248 pesos, tomatoes 372 pesos, carrots 621 pesos. Liam thought, mm, I'll round the prices to the nearest hundreds so I can quickly estimate the total cost. He rounded 248 to 200, 372 to 400, 621 to 600. He added the rounded numbers and estimated the total to be about 1,200. This makes shopping easier, said Liam. Comprehension Check where did Liam go? Why did he want to round the prices? What was his estimated total? What math skill did Liam use? What is rounding? Rounding is a way to simplify a number while keeping it close to the original value. How to round numbers to the nearest hundreds? Look at the digit in the ones place. If it is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, round up. If it is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, round down. Examples 168. Look at 6 at tens place. Since 6 is more than 5, round up to 200. Another example. 142. Look at number 4 at tens place. Since 4 is less than 5, Round down to 100. Example number 3. 349, round down to 300. 751, round up to 800. 920, round down to 900. Let's do this. Match the number with its rounded form. Let's do this. Write T if the statement is true and F if false. We look at the tens digit to decide how to round to the nearest hundred. This is T. If the tens digit is 7, we round the number down to the lower hundred. This is F. The number 849 rounded to the nearest hundred is 800. This is T. Rounding 150 to the nearest hundreds gives us 200. This is T. 
When rounding 321 to the nearest hundred, the result is 400. This is F. Let's do this. Round the following numbers to the nearest hundreds. 123 will be round to 100. 487 will be round to 500. 610 will be round to 600. 829 will be round to 800. 305 will be round to 300. Always remember, Rounding to the nearest hundreds help us estimate large number easily. By looking at the tens digit, we can decide whether to round up or down. If it is 4 or more in the tens place, we round up. If it is 4 or less in the tens place, we round down. Let's do this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.